So I got sent kind of a disaster campaign for Kislev, and this was the save I received. As you can see, we are besieged as Kostalton with nothing but Kosars, which are good units. Don't get me wrong. And we have part of a garrison, but we are up against two and a half full stacks here. And we have no magic. In theory, I don't know, this might have been winnable. I tried to fight it. I didn't win because of the capture point mechanic. I probably would have lost without any magic in these basic units. So I'm just going to do this. I technically fought it before in the, the main video. This is just a little intro. So let's see the rest of the campaign here. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Just keep going. So our problem here is the good news is we control... Kislev itself, and we control Prague, and we control a chunk of the other rest of Kislev, but we are under siege by the Demon Prince over here. We have lost or never gained Erengrad, I assume lost. Our southern flank, we are allied to the vampires, and they're getting overrun by the Chaos Dwarfs. Festus and the Demon Prince have just obliterated everything down there, and of course they're over there. We have lots of armies sailing in from the north, and we're losing money per turn. It's turn 144, we only have two souls, and there are two factions that already have three souls. So, the good news is we do have a strong army here which is able to help make this a little bit better, but we're still not in a great position. This is where I was handed it, saying, hey, I don't even know if the campaign's even winnable at this point. Spoiler alert, it was. I wound up winning about turn 180, I believe. So let's go ahead and fast forward to some later spots in the campaign. Here we are in turn 181. I was slightly too optimistic in the last video. So it is turn 281. At this point, we are chasing behind Nakari. He entered the Zinch Realm uh, about four turns ago. We are trying to catch up to him. We have three souls. Poxmakers have three souls and are gunning for their fourth, so we also need to worry about that. So our goal is to try to get through the maze, get it, and deal with that. Things are looking much better on the home front as well. We haven't really gained any territory up here. And we've lost a few sub ones over here because, uh, crazily enough, all the Chaos Dwarfs, dwarfs declared war on us. But we are controlling Kislev. We are controlling most of the northeast over here. And we have several armies moving. We control Prague. We control Erengrad. We've reclaimed that. And we control basically everything over here, and we befriended Scrag, so he was already a friend before. So he ha holds that, and there's no point in going to war with him while we're dealing with all the Chaos Dwarfs over here. As you can see, they have a lot of armies. Oh, well, we destroyed all of his armies at this point. Never mind, they don't have much armies. I think we've killed off... Yeah, we basically killed off all the Chaos Dwarf armies. They, they came for us a bunch of times, we had to fight a lot of bloody battles. We stopped their advance, and we're pushing them back. And here we are on the final battle. You can play this and just win the campaign. Impossible. To show you where we are, this is one turn 189. We have all our full four souls, so do Poxmakers, but they're too late. Down south, we've regained control of all of Kislev over here. Corn did come and raise Hell Pit. But other than that, uh, we are... Effectively controlling all of Kislev. We still have this over here. We've nearly pushed the Chaos Dwarfs completely out. They're still on their back foot trying to rebuild, which we won't give them the chance. We'll press on. But it won't be relevant because at this point we'll just go and win the game. But we can easily claim all of this territory. Oh yeah, we're even invading the Chaos Wastes up here. So, and we control... Oh, that's right, here's another new thing. We control all of Norska. I don't remember where we were on the tw on turn 81 save. But as you can see, this campaign wound up being very salvageable, and we're in a very good position at this point. And we, as to the point we're not only winning the campaign, we could easily go on to win domination, push the Chaos Dwarves, get more land over here, then push north and invade the Chaos Waste if we wish to do that. So that took about 12 hours to get from the start of the close defeat and the, the swarm of demons over here into this final victory. If you'd like to see the details, all of it will follow this video. And of course, if you have any questions or requests on other disaster battles or campaigns or whatever, I am happy to accept them. But this is uh, Repairing the Shield of the Old World, 
going from a cursed start with just hordes of being overwhelmed, losing our last vampire allies of all things to the Chaos Dwarfs, with the Demon Prince and Nurgle on our, and uh, Festus on all sides, to controlling the Empire and Norska, invading the Chaos Waste, catching up on the souls, winning the, about to win the final battle while destroying the Chaos Dwarfs at the same time. So, if you want to see that series, I encourage you to watch the videos and enjoy.